hey what's up in today's video i thought i will share my vs code extension setting and snippet with you so i do a lot a lot of php uh, laravel development and vue.js development so if you do same uh, it will be helpful for you so let's get started so first let's open up extension list and let's so install extensions so first thing uh, I ins uh, installed is Sublime uh, text, Sublime text key map and setting. So I used to use Sublime a lot. So I I was used to uh, of shortcuts on Sublime. So I just want same shortcut uh, applicable for VS Code as well. So if you install this, uh, you don't need to remember any new shortcuts. Uh, next, uh, advanced new file. It was uh, same on Sublime as well. So it just help us to create a new file uh, very easily so without going right clicking select new select new file and all those you can directly create from uh, using your command palette like if you uh, so there is shortcut as well so if you hit control alt n and it will ask you where you want to create a new file so you can select from here or you can type uh, the name of path or if you want to create on current directory so you can do colon so it will create inside resources fuse so any file dot blade dot psp all right so it created inside resources fuse so i find it quite helpful you can also uh, do like control shift new file yeah advanced new file so you can see uh, shortcut from here as well next i use this uh, auto close tag so sometimes in your uh, let's see blade file so for example if you created uh, this div yeah it will auto close that so by default it doesn't come uh, with sublime like if you do yeah you need to do manually close the tag it will auto close that quite helpful so before i use bootstrap 3 snippet uh, bootstrap 4 these are disabled uh, i don't use quite often but if you need you can enable them so another one is dot env uh, it just uh, highlights dot env file if you have yeah so just a uh, highlight for dot env nothing much so another on the list is file utils so it is uh, it is quite helpful like uh, let me show if you do control shift p which will open up command palette and if you do you can uh, directly delete file from here i think you can uh, rename as well rename yeah like so you can directly delete So I like to use uh, as less mouse as possible so you can just do from keyboard quite faster. So next for Laravel uh, these are some snippet it will uh, give us uh, some snippet like form or console. So this is also quite helpful. Uh, this this generates all the snippet with if, uh, if you do just this prefix auth, it will show the auth related snippets. And same for these. So another Laravel blade, just syntax highlighting for blade files. And live server comes by default with PS code. And for uh, making it visually look uh, nicer, I use this material icon theme so it will just highlight the icon according to the file type looks cool so for theme uh, also i use material theme so it got many uh, variants like so let's go to login controller and open command palette theme and here you can choose different theme like material theme darker high construct uh, cons contrast material theme darker yeah so these are some variant of material themes 
so path intelligence uh, by default it comes so for uh, go to declaration and some intelligence for PSP uh, like so suppose you want to go to this class and it will give us go to definition or you can press F2 to go to that file so that may it, uh, happen by this plugin PSP intelligence so yeah so it provides like uh, let's go back to login controller so if you hit control R it will display all the methods on uh, this class like login authenticate next is uh, PSP namespace resolver very helpful so although this IntelliFence come with uh, namespace resolver, uh, resolver you can import class but I find this one quite helpful and handy so you, you can import any class so suppose there is no user class there and if you want to import this class you, you just need to do control alt i so that was the shortcut and it will ask for which class do you want to import this one user or this one you can select from here also you can do all of these action from command palette also and just type import class and it will show shortcut as well as you can trigger that command from here as well all right so slime theme i don't use and another one is snippet uh, creator so uh, this will just uh, create the snippet from your selection so for example let's see you want to make a snippet for uh, snippet for just say dump what you can do is uh, just select it and then open command palette and make I think snippet yeah create snippet and then define here PSP or any language and name of snippet dump so shortcut for snippet uh, just DM confirm so now you are done so if you want to create this dump then just go to uh, just press DM and tab alright so if you want to edit this uh, snippet just uh, open up command palette snippet configure user snippets and here existing snippet PSP so for which file you want to edit so there are a couple of snippet that I use so this is uh, what we just created so uh, I use couple of snippet like uh, MET for generating method name like this PSP method and another one for array uh, element and for diadem DD and it will just do like this so if you want to insert any variable inside that so if you do uh, this then let's check so DM and then tab so it will take cursor to the location where you defined that placeholder variable like so all right so if you want after that if you want to take cur uh, cursor to uh, like here you can do two and then if you do dm dm here any variable then tab yeah it will go there like so so I use method met method name tab like so also if you are creating array like uh, data array and you want to insert uh, elements so you can do like this and then go here create this and then again create this I find it uh, quite boring so what I did uh, is I created a snippet so if we hit double colon and enter sorry tab it will create that and then tab like so alright very helpful alright so snippet creator is also quite helpful so sublime text key map I already discussed so another one Vitor for Vue.js snippet uh, sorry Vue.js highlighting emit support on view file formatting autocomplete debugging linting error checking 
so it, it is the whole package for Vue.js developers so another one is turbo console log so this was also a kind of shortcut so if you are on JS file so I have dot JS or any view file like example component view and suppose you have some variable here let some var cost to 33 and you want to console log you can do console dot log and then some variable but uh, with this plugin what you can do is just select this control alt l so if you hit control alt l it will uh, create the identifier for this variable on console log and just uh, displace that variable as well so it can do with uh, this um, parameter also some some para and select this or put cursor control alt l uh, i think it don't do like that do we need to select all yeah we need to select uh, all this the putting cursor won't work so it is quite helpful uh, it saves some time so if you are doing a lot of console logs it will uh, definitely save some time so also another cool feature of this plugin is like uh, cons so it can also uh, delete all console log message created by this plugin comment all log message so yeah on one comma so also this deletes control alt d control alt q control alt u so if you hit control alt u yeah control alt q u d all right so very helpful so after you done with testing you want to delete all console logs just do with one command you don't need to go and search for all these all right so these are some of extension that i use on daily basis hope you'll find this helpful and if you want to add some more that you use uh, and it's very helpful and reducing some development time so please comment that on comment section i will check that out thank you for watching i will see you in the next video bye